okay guys so welcome in the next tutorial and in this one we will start uh, making the wood part wooden part so let's uh, close this folder and let's move on to the wooden part and now we want to do the same thing uh, so let's maybe first add uh, some dirt on our wood so let's add a fill layer let's call it dirt and let's uh, uncheck height, rough, metal, normal, AO and uh, actually check rough on and uh, because we want this to affect only the color which will be some dirt color which is brownish so let's see this is okay or maybe darker value yeah some darker values this is the color of the dirt i think yeah and as you can see this is quite rough now and we don't want that to be that rough uh, we don't want it to be to be that non rough we want it to be very rough so let's change it to 100 percent so here number one and let's we want it to be only in some few areas so let's add a black mask and now if we right click on it and we add a paint layer we can uh, mask the areas in which we want the dirt so let's select some brush so now we can use the dirt brush so let's search it search for it and here we can add some dirt and it's too much I think but uh, you can add slight dirt onto the ending parts here and we can make it more subtle by uh, sliding down the value and on the bottom maybe and also on the top a bit so maybe even more even less let's drag it and now we can we can see you can see that we have some dirt and we can add some in the middle too so i want them to be very subtle in the middle so yeah and now let's do the same to this part so let's change it to be higher in in the this part not that high like like this is okay and let's uh, from the bottom also and from the top and very small dirt in the middle so we have some dirt on our our uh, grip and we can also add some scratches so let's add another uh, wood material let's call it let's find search for wood or we can actually add our own wood so let's add the fill layer let's call it wood cut and this should be only the color and let's change the color to some bright cut it wood so it should be something like let me see like this is some color of the wood I think we can change it later so let's add this and let's right click add a black mask and let's add some scratches so uh, let's search for scratches and you can see that we have some scratches and as you can see if I scratch it you can see that there's the, the color doesn't match so we can change the color later but first let's go to alpha and here you, you should also have some scratches and also in grandes you can search for scratches yeah so so this is very nice so we can actually uh, right click on it and add a generator and here I think you don't have the scratches 
uh, generator and that's why we have to make our own so so let's make our own or let me check guys one thing if you go here into uh, there should be a subfolder called let me see guys oh and there should be subfolder called smart mask and basically here you have different type of mask and maybe we can find something for our scratches so i think guys there's actually <laughs> there's no not none to yeah to scratches we will make our own so here uh, click on that generator and click on mask editor and now you can see the uh, that the mask uh, it's it's not working uh, that the way we want so we have to uh, set a few things so let's go to parameters and let's first and check global balance to zero and uh, check everything to zero and let's start from scratch so we want this to be affected like on the surfaces so actually we can turn on global balance for 0 0.5 and this will give no effect because uh, we have to we have to uh, give him the information where, where we want this to to happen so if you change the thickness to be one uh, here under thickness it should affect your whole mesh for now but we want it to affect only the a few areas and let's search for uh, those scratches in our branches and you should have this grunge scratches rough texture and we can drag it down to our texture slot and if you go up we have to drag up the texture opacity so it will affect uh, our textures and uh, now you have to play with the values so uh, as you can see i have to drag down the uh, thickness opacity a bit 0 0.5 but uh, we can drag up the global opacity so it will make your lines more harsh and i want let's move down to the textures a bit and uh, we can play with the scratches value so for example with the contrast of the scratches but i will leave it at zero with the balance so how much balance should be in the scratches so i'll leave it at 0.5 here you have the length and other stuff but i will leave it at default and just let me see if i can change the the color now because it's very bo bo bothering me so let's change the color let's move to color and let's pick the our color from our wood so I don't know why it's not picking up okay so we can drag here so it should pick okay and it's not so you have to manually play with the color and see what color fits the most the best and I think something like this is okay and actually we can uh, toggle the height property and if you drag it down you can see that it, the, those scratches affects our normal and it's now indent indent so let's go back to the mask and let's go down to scratches and let's see let's now we can play with the values so i can change the width so i want them to be very, very slim 
uh, and I don't want them to be that long so I can change the length of them also to be very small and let's see if I want double scratches no I don't want double scratches and you can just play with the values and see what uh, fits you the, the most and I think that is uh, okay for me <laughs> at least and uh, we can move on to the next part in which I will show you how to add uh, uh, some normals yeah and details so see you guys in the next one bye